Pisces, what's poppin'? It's your boy Anne from Cancer Moon's Tarot coming at you guys with your November 15th through the 30th love tarot reading, alright? These are your mid-months, baby! Whew, I got an announcement real quick, okay, for everybody. For one, my Instagram and Twitter will be down in the description down below if you want to follow that, thank you. Um, but besides that, everybody lately I'm, I'm kind of noticing, I want people to be aware of this, I'm probably gonna make a separate video on this, but please take tarot as a guide, do not make tarot your life. Don't do it. You know, there are many people that are addicted to tarot. There are many people that will watch readings that aren't even for them, that won't even resonate to them, and then they'll apply that to them. Do yourself a favor. Detach from the outcome. Take what path or whatever the best guidance is from the reading that you can, okay, so that you can go down the right path. Detach from the outcome. Allow that stuff to happen. And if you're in a really negative headspace or a negative place, I would say refrain from watching tarot reads. Kind of don't watch them. Take a step back. Really focus on your life. Focus on yourself. Note that... What I'm predicting is the outcome on the current path that you're on, but that path can always change because we are creators and we manifest and we create different realities every single second, okay? So this is for guidance and guidance only, all right? Keep in mind, if it doesn't resonate, please feel free to check out any other amazing tarot readers here on YouTube and let's get it popping, baby. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, November 15th through the 30th. What's going on with you guys? Um, health message, um, if you're dealing with like blurriness, get glasses. Okay? If you're having like blurry eyesight, just get glasses. Everything will be fine. You'll be healed. You'll be good. Okay? <laughs> pretty practical. I know. Pretty, pretty practical thing. Anyways, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, November 15th through the 30th. Let's see what's going on with you guys. One more shuffle. The energy here is good. The energy here is good. There's events that are coming. There are events that are taking place. We're also in the month of 11. Okay, 1111, 1111, 111. When you look at the numerology of November, it's insane. Mutual energy, here we go, Pisces. This is you. Moon card between you and another person. I always like to say this with a moon card. Secrets are being revealed. Energies are coming out. Things that you didn't expect are to be expected. So expect the unexpected is the energy that I'm seeing present. Um, you can be dealing with another Piscean. Of course, this can be you. Um, there are going to be things that you're going to be learning about a person you're dealing with as they're going to be learning about you. There's going to be a lot of ex unexpected events that are taking place in this month. Um, and there's going to be a lot of energies and things that you're going to discover. Of course, you have to keep in mind with Scorpio season. Scorpio has a tendency to release secrets and to allow secrets to come out. Um, and unexpected events always take place during Scorpio season. So that's what I'm seeing present here, okay? So let's take a look. Now, whoever you're connecting with here can be a Gemini. I see a lover's card. Somebody loves you. But at the same time with the justice card, you are balancing out your life right now, Pisces, because life might be very hectic for you in the current moment. Now, I'm seeing that, and I'm seeing this for a lot of Pisceans. I'm seeing always confusion for Pisces because Pisces are very indecisive. I love you guys, but you guys are genuinely indecisive creatures and you're beautiful creatures too. But with the Justice card being present, I feel like you're trying to balance out too many things in your life. Now, that can mean people, that can mean work, that can mean anything. But whatever it is, you're going to become the master for the rest of the month. You are finally going to be able to get your shit together, if I even want to say that. You're going to be in an energy this month where you are going to be absolutely okay. Things may have been hectic for a couple months, but calm waters are approaching for you okay so you're going to be in a time and a place where you can kind of get back into your zen you can relax and you can make better decisions all right especially with the fact that venus is now in libra and that retrograde will be ending one day later which will be on the 16th okay then we move into mercury now as to the outcome that's present play uh palace of cups you're going to be in your head a lot you're going to be emotional a lot but i'm seeing you now taking decisions from the heart other than logic and that's okay sometimes we should decide from the heart all right, is the energy that I'm seeing here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over the person you're dealing with's feelings, your feelings, where the energies are aligning, and the outcome for the month. So let's take a look here. Right now, in regards to the person you're dealing with here, let's take a look at their feelings for you. November 15th through the 30th. All right, let's take a look. So I'm seeing that there's somebody that's trying to work things with you, okay? There's definitely a lover from somebody. This is definitely a relationship that's already been ended. So I'm seeing that somebody here who you have may have ended the relationship with or they've ended it from you. Um, there's somebody here that is trying, excuse me, trying to resurrect past love, okay? Death card, five of cups, three of pentacles. And they're trying to resurrect past love. They're trying to come back into your life. Um, they want a rebirth of it is the energy that I'm seeing here. They're also very upset and disappointed because they still do have those feelings and vibrations for you. They still do have love for you. But at the same time, it almost feels like whenever you guys were connected or whenever you were in a relationship, um, it was never the perfect time. That's the energy that I keep seeing here because it's all related to time. It was never the perfect time for you guys to be together. There was a lot of things that happened that caused the downfall of your connection or relationship. It may not even be the other person's fault or whatever have you. But from what I'm seeing here, they want to resurrect that old relationship 
relationship, but there's disappointment there because it feels like you're not giving them that chance or vice versa. Now, Six of Pentacles, they're in a period of time where they're trying to work things with you. They're trying to meet you halfway, but are you necessarily meeting halfway with them is the energy that I'm seeing here. So in regards to your feelings here, Pisces, let's take a look and see what's going on. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, November 15th through the 30th. Now, in regards to your feelings for the other person, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, Pisces, you really want to jump out in the cards today, huh? So I'm seeing that, okay, King of Pentacles to the to the hangman, which is you. You're becoming enlightened. You're realizing that feelings are still there. So you're realizing that you still care for the other person just as much as they care for you. But at the same time, there's a reason of something or there's a reason why you're being held back. You can be feeling stuck right now or you could have been feeling stuck in the past. But as I said, with the judgment card or sorry, the justice card, calm waters are coming. You're going to get your shit together. So there could have been conflictions on the other person of being with them or not, whatever have you. But whatever it is, you're coming to the understanding of what it is you want, which is good. So you're actually, you know, getting in a better direction. There's no indecisiveness. You're understanding what you want to manifest in your life, what you want in your life, which is good. So we already clarified here. The other person wants to resurrect a past relationship. They want to come back towards your way. They are feeling disappointed because they haven't had the chance to get back together with you but now it feels like you're finally taking this into consideration as we have the judgment card here present too so you're taking this into consideration you're thinking about the other person you're like okay you know what maybe i can think about a chance now i'm saying you're considering it because we haven't seen any energies get aligned yet so we'll check that out but i think right now you've been thinking deep in your head of course with the palace of cups being present too that's water energy that's emotion that's feeling so you've been thinking in your head for a while and you're going to become enlightened to the answer it is you're going to give the other person now also eight of pentacles you may be wanting to work right now focus on your career your finance even yourself whatever have you you're definitely putting a lot of work in right now and a lot of time into something which is good now where the energies are aligning between you and the other person let's take a look here now keep in mind pisces if you're not dealing with a past person then i don't think this reading is really going to resonate with you but from what i'm seeing present though this can be recent this can be a past x whatever have you this is an x i'm just saying okay now in regards to where the energies are aligning <clears throat> from the 15th through the 30th let's take a look here sun moon rising and venus piscean oh yeah they've been watching you good okay so i'm seeing you guys making things right which is awesome so from what i'm seeing here page of swords of course you guys have been watching each other this person watches over you they watch your instagram they watch your facebook whatever have you they're not stalking you in real life or in person but they're probably communicating with their friends saying oh how is you know jessica doing whatever have you they're probably trying to catch up on you because they haven't really been in your life you know you got to keep in mind the death card's here you know they were probably and they could be in your life right now but they're probably not a big part in it and uh, this person doesn't have much information on you so to obviously try to get back together with you they want to know what's going on in your life so i'm seeing that they're doing a bit of stalking here now as well as on their energy side here too seven of pentacles they're patiently waiting for you as you are coming back towards their way but very slowly right you're coming back very slowly or vice versa that can be them coming very back slowly to you now from what i'm seeing present here you're going to be shifting energies here with the nine of wands the temperance card instead of being very uncomfortable and not talking and not expressing to one another how you each other or how each other feel how you feel how they feel you're actually going to be working things out with that temperance card conversating talking speaking letting your emotions out and healing those emotions from the past so good conversations are coming between you and this person which are awesome as well as where the energies are aligning to the knight of cups moving to proposal of love offering each other love and offering each other tender love and care now does this mean a relationship exactly no but it means that you're moving in a step in the right direction not only are you giving attention to this person once again who's trying to resurrect a relationship with you you are also healing through past traumas healing through past things that you guys have went through to take a better step in the right direction now as for the overall outcome of the month let's take a look here Pisces Sun Moon Rising and Venus November 15th through the 30th yeah King of Cups to the Two of Swords now the thing is here is that yes there's still a decision that needs to be made Pisces okay and you haven't made that decision yet but you are now taking a better approach to the situation because not only are you getting closer to this person, not only are you healing and fixing things that needed to be fixed, you are allowing yourself to finally make a decision. Will we reconcile? Will we not? Okay? So this is the time for you to decide. This is your decision-making period. And I know, Pisces, I know you guys are going to be like, Ant, it's been like this for months. It's been like this for months. Because there hasn't been a reconciliation. That's the issue. When you realize that somebody's trying to reconcile with you or if you're trying to reconcile with somebody, it's going to keep popping up for the mass of the people now please guys please and pretty please i'm asking you i understand that many of you will not be dealing with your ex many of you have an ex that don't care please don't blast it in the comments this is for the people that are going through this okay if it's not your reading respect that your reading will show up at some point 
all right? But from what I'm seeing present here right now, Piscean, they want to re-enter your life, but they don't know how to re-enter your life. Because the thing about a Pisces is that you can't get into a Pisces head unless they allow you. And very little does a Piscean allow you to come into their head, right? You guys can be very private people too. Um, with, whom you're connect, um, with whom you're connecting with, they really want to work it. They really want to balance things out. They really want to come back. Um, but they find it difficult to find their way back into your life because they don't really feel that you tell them much, right? Nine of Wands, restriction. They feel like you kind of restrict a lot of things back. That's also why they converse with friends and other people and their page of swords and they're stalking you just so they could see what's going on with your day-to-day -day life. Um, I feel like for the past couple of months, Pisces, you've been in a period of time where there's been so many hectic energies going around that has made you feel confused, that has made you feel conflicted, that has made you feel angered. I feel like your emotions have been all out of whack because of things you're experiencing here on Earth. Whether it's you going through a cycle of emotions for other people or going through a cycle of dealing with life and its natural things, there has just been so much that has been stopping you from being able to focus, okay? I feel like this has been a saga, and this saga has been on hold for months. And I feel like it's finally getting closer and closer to fruition because you're throwing the other person a bone. You're letting them know, okay, let's work this out. Let's resolve this. Now, keep in mind with the two of swords, this can result into a relationship. This can result into a friendship or this can result into you parting ways. This is going to be your choice or vice versa. This is going to be their choice. Whoever it is, if you're the one reconciling or if they want to reconcile with you, pick a side, okay? But from what I'm seeing here, Pisces, it's going to be your choice in the end. There's no need to predict because you're going to do what your free will wants you to do. All I'm saying here and all they want you to know is that this person, I believe personally, is worth a second chance. This person definitely wants something resurrected. Now, just to see clearly a little more, let's go a little bit deeper into this person here um, with who you're connecting with. Let's take a little more look at their feelings. Strength card. Yeah, they've been holding back from you, I feel. Can be a Leo you're connecting with. They've been holding back from you because they don't want to seem persistent. They don't want to push you away. And especially when you try to chase a Pisces, a Pisces can run away sometimes. And that's things that I've noticed in my life, all I've ever dealt with were Pisceans. So when you chase a Pisces or push or push against the Pisces, they want to run away. Now, whoever you're connecting with, they're still heartbroken over you. You know, this person's heartbroken over you and they, they found it very difficult to be able to move on and able to move forward from you. This was a person that they fell in love so hard that they couldn't stop loving you no matter what happened and they felt alone and they felt abandoned or vice versa if that's you but they felt alone and felt abandoned and they want that offer you know they want to wedge their way into your life they want to continue being in your life is what i'm seeing here okay but now in regards to your side here pisces and how you're feeling about the whole situation you're feeling confused yeah because you know you can have them, right? Seven of Cups to the Magician. You know you could have this person. You know that you can have them, you can reconcile with them, you can be with them, but at the same time you feel confused because there's probably more karma that you're dealing with. Now when we talk Vedic Astrology, or even if we're talking Western, this is North Node, okay? This is Rahu, okay? And what I'm seeing here between you and this person is that you are still confronting the karma that you're dealing with. If you're dealing with karma with other people, other karmic relationships, if you're dealing with whatever, you're dealing with karma. That's why there's been so much confliction. That's why there's been so much confusion because there are cycles that are you are going through and the other person has had that completion. The other person's at the 10. They have gone through completion as they're waiting on you. So this person's waiting for your arrival, but you find it difficult being able to go back to them because there's so many other things that you need to take care of. All right, Pisces, is what I'm seeing here. Now, overall, um, where everything's going to align, hopefully, let's see if we can get a, get a solid answer here, but overall, where things are going to align at the end of the month between you both, overall outcome at the end of the month between you both, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing, you know, Empress, growth, expansion, things are happening for you, Pisces, and things are good, but at the same time, though, the other person's going to get their hopes up because the reconciliation, unfortunately, isn't going to go through. And the reason that I say that is seven of swords to the hermit. The person you're connecting with here, they're going to try so hard to communicate with you. They're going to try so hard to get back together with you. But the problem is your confliction. The problem is your karma. The problem is, is what you're going through. So they cannot get back together with you because you are not ready to choose them. You are not ready to reconcile with them. You have work to do. You have things to go through. Now, will you guys get closer? Yes. And you will get closer to the reconciliation that you ever have been. But 
it's still gonna take more time because you still have to do your work. And when you figure out what it is, then you can complete your cycles here, okay? Pisces, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If it resonates, please let me know down in the comments down below. Of course, as I said, if you're not dealing with an ex, please do not comment it. I don't need to know that, that's okay. Um, not every general reading's for everybody, all right? But Pisceans, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this situation gets cleared up. Um, if my, any words of advice from me, I would sit here and tell you, you know, honestly, do your best to focus on um, what it is you need to complete, whether you are dealing with other people, whether you are dealing with life struggles, focus on what it is that you need to take care of and make a decision because this person's waiting, this person's patient, and this person is persistent too, you know? And at the end of the day, that could be you, you could be the persistent one, all right? It could always resonate, vice versa, all right? Pisces, have a great one. Take care, guys, and enjoy the rest of your lovely month, all right? Bye.